Episode 89, The Sherry Joe Bates Murder. Okay, this episode is a little different than most. Much of the details of this case are not clear or don't make sense. So I'm going to make an educated guess of how the events unfolded that night. First, I believe Sherry Jo Bates left her house about 5 p.m., but did not go to the RCC library directly. But she stopped at a friend's house and was at a friend's house around 5.30 because she made a phone call at 5.30 to Donna. Sherry arrived at the RCC library sometime after 6 p.m., shortly after 6 p.m. She parked in this alleyway behind that vacant white house that you see, and it was dark out. Sherry entered the library and was busy and did not want to be visiting people and sat hidden away. She stayed there working in the library until it closed at 9 p.m. There were probably not a lot of people there when it closed. Then Sherry went to her car and the engine would turn over but would not fire. She probably tried to start the car for 10 minutes or more before someone came by and offered to help. I don't have photographs of the old campus from above. So I'm going to reconstruct them for you in this video. First, I have blackened out the new RCC building and labeled where the parking lot was across Fairfax Avenue. Here, I have superimposed some similar houses with the back alleyway. Now, I have shifted those over and where you see the black void area that is where the paved road along the building was back then. Here is a simple illustration of the area. Sherry parked behind that white house. The little car is facing the wrong direction, but is in the right location. After meeting her killer, she walked with him down that back alleyway behind those two houses, supposedly to head towards the student parking on Fairfax, but she was viciously attacked back there. Then her killer headed towards Terracina Drive because blood drops were found there on the dirt driveway. The ground is not level in this area. So along the top of this photograph, that's the back of that white house right there. Sherry Jo Bates was buried five days after her murder. Then about a month after her murder, this letter was mailed to the Daily Enterprise and to the police department, to the Riverside Police Department. Then about a month after this, they found the writing on the desktop in a storage room at the RCC campus. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and in the next episode, we will look at those RHs at Ramona High School, see if any of those people are suspicious, and that probably won't take place until next weekend. <laughs>